Um, I'm just grateful uh, to Philippe Falardeau, the film's director. I think he did a wonderful job. Um, Naomi Watts, uh, Elizabeth Moss, Michael Rapaport. I think the acting in this is is really extraordinary, and I'm I'm, I'm proud of it. I, I'm uh, I'm very happy because you know it's, they're always a gamble. These these little films, you know, it's three million dollars in 28 days, and 20 if you count all the time I spent in makeup. <laughs> so it's just kind of an, a remarkable accomplishment. I think Philippe is a real humanist filmmaker. And I think he really had an idea as someone who's not a fan of boxing, and I didn't feel like we were making a boxing film, so I didn't want a director who was known for sports films. I felt like it was a, a much more um, interesting, uh, delicate film. Uh, I think there was humor in it. I think there's a love story in it. And um, uh, it was a character-driven film, and I, and I think that uh, Philippe really did a beautiful job of of keeping it light and uh, enjoyable and the music is wonderful and the relationship between Chuck and Linda and the relationship between Chuck and his first wife Phyllis, it's all very moving to me. Uh, the biggest challenge, to be perfectly honest with you, was the prosthetics. Uh, spending three to four hours in makeup every morning was <laughs> truly horrible. Much worse than being punched in the face by Pooch Hall. Um, but, uh, such terrific scene partners. Um, Elizabeth Moth, I think, is so wonderful in the movie, uh, as well as Naomi and, and Jim Gaffigan and, and Michael Rappaport, that it made it all worthwhile, you know, because you can imagine how horrible it would have been to put on all that makeup and then not have anything, uh, and not have anything to, to enjoy at the end of that experience. But I think at the heart of this film is a cautionary tale about celebrity and fame which is something that certainly has interested me in the past uh, 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 five or six years since I've had a couple of kids and been on a television show. And I think that um, Chuck's, there's something very heroic about Chuck's willingness to tell this story and to go through this. Um, uh, I think it's important that, that, that we remember that that, that that sort of lie that I think is at the the heart of fame, which is the notion that we are the most interesting person in the room, is one that we divest ourselves of relatively early on in life where it's going to be tough having real relationships. Fortunately, we limited all of the fights to three days, so uh, at the end of the production schedule, in the event that my face would get smashed, we would have already shot the rest of the film. And Pooch Hall, thankfully, is a really talented boxer, actually fought Golden Gloves in Massachusetts um, and was able to control his punches uh, so much that he didn't hurt me. I just felt like it was hard to do a fight about, uh, do a film about boxing, in particular about Chuck Wepner, without contact. Because I think so much of what defines him as a fighter and as a man is his ability to take punishment and move forward.